ladies and gentlemen, uh, let's get ready for Joe Grande. What do you think about this NFL season so far? How do you think it's playing out with the preseason? And what do you think of Johnny Menzel? Well, first of all, the preseason means next to nothing unless somebody gets hurt or somebody that's on the bubble of making the roster makes the roster. Vin, the man of the night, good to see you, Joe Grande. It's Hello, a Joe. To run into you again. Nice to run into you. It's how do you feel when you're honored like this? It's such a great event. I feel very humbled. I feel very unworthy. Now you got this big role coming up. You're playing Mike Tyson. I actually remember interviewing you after the Mike Tyson fight when he got knocked out, and you said, "Why is he going to make fun of me?" As you made him snoring voices of him. I remember oh. this vaguely. And well, I was like, <laughs> you know what? The, the amount of time that has gone by now and the Mike Tyson that I've been able to get even closer with now, his story is amazing. Doc Rivers, Joe Grande, NBC Sports Radio. How are you doing this How evening? Doing? Great. Kevin Durant leaves Team USA. What do you think about that? It's his choice. It's America. Byron Scott, Joe Grande, NBC Joe. Sports Radio. Pleasure. The new Los Angeles Lakers head coach. It's a Thank privilege you. to say that to you. Thank you. I'm sure it's set in already. Or has it? It, it, it has set in. You know, every time I go into the office, it's, it, you know, it's pretty much set in for me. But it's still very uh, surreal. Emma Smith, Cowboys this year. What do you see with them? Is Romo going to be able to do it? What's happening? Well, um, after watching the, uh, the preseason game last night, in the pro level, you see Johnny Manziel getting so much attention over there in Cleveland. Is there something that you'd reach out to him and talk to saying, dude, I can relate, I've been there? Because when I see him, I'm not going to lie, I think of you 1,000%. <laughs> he, he, he's, you know what, he's done a lot more than I ever did. And in the NFL, Johnny Manziel, so much hype around there in Cleveland. Who would have ever thought the Cleveland Browns would have a big topic like this? But do you think Johnny Manziel is going to be able to hold his own and become a starter? Well, you know, it, it, it's tough in the NFL, especially for quarterbacks. Roy Jones Jr., Joe Grande, NBC Sports Radio. How are you doing today? I'm doing good. How you doing? Great, brother. Let me ask you a question. Jamie Foxx is playing Mike Tyson in the movie coming out. Who would play you if the Roy Jones Jr. movie would have come out? Cuba Gooding Jr. How about an athlete? Who would you play? Oh, man. i play Jerry Rice. Jerry Rice is a, is a, is a, a great role model, a legend. Okay, well, Will Smith played your father, obviously. Yes. Who would play you? In oh, the God. Layla Ali movie. That would be really hard. Movie. You know why? Because there just aren't many actresses physically big enough. How are you doing this evening? I'm fine, Joe. And you? Great. Thank you very much for joining us. I got to ask you, Jamie Foxx is playing Mike Tyson in the new movie. I know you heard about that. I heard about that. I think it should, I think it should be nice. I think that, um, who would Bill Bellamy play if he had to pick and choose an athlete that he would play? Who I would love to be? There's a couple guys I'd like to play. Uh, I would love to play... Uh, Michael Irvin. So Ron Artest changed his name to uh, Meta World Peace, and now he's changing it to The Panda's Friend. All these athletes have changed their name to something a little crazier. What would you change your name to? What would I change my name to? Oh my gosh, that's so... Oh, the, the bionic fembot. So I've got two prosthetic legs. Marcellus Wiley, uh, Meta World Peace, a.k.a. Ron Artest, is changing his name. Yeah. I know you've heard of it, of course, too. What is it? The Panda? The Panda. The Panda's Friend? Express? Oh, no, the Panda's, Panda's friend. friend. I was about to say, I'm about to eat him. Meta World Peace, Los Angeles Laker, changed his name to the Panda. What would you change your name to? Oh, man. Um, the, he going to China, so it's, I mean, yeah, the Panda's Kung, Friend. But it I mean, should have been Kung Fu Panda because he's always into something. But yeah. The Spurs, they hired their first woman in the NBA. Yes, yeah, Becky Hammond. Coach. How big is that? What that was awesome. That was awesome. Kevin Love being traded to the Cavs for Andrew Wiggins. What do you think of that? Uh, that's my boy, K-Love. We work out uh, every day, actually, uh, this summer. So, uh, you know, I've been around him, and I'm just happy for him. Steve Sachs, Joe Grande, NBC Sports Radio. I just want to know, who do you think is going to be ready for October? Who's going to go in the postseason this year in baseball? Well, I, I think it's uh, – I think the wild card is pretty much set in the American League e uh, West. 